um, in order to look real. And once again, uh, she caught fire very easily, and within minutes is a roaring inferno. Any person in this situation would suffer Vegas shock and would probably be dead within a matter of seconds. Um, but you can see how Betty burns away fiercely. And again, there's no spread of the fire, but Betty herself is burning merrily all the time. And, and indeed, the way in which the head burns uh, leaves a sort of a charred skull. And in many of these cases, they said how the cranium was left there, though there was no tissue on it anymore, of course. Notice now that Betty has, has fallen off the chair, which is made of softwood, it's made of pine, hasn't even burned. And again, Betty's legs are not burning when the rest of Betty had. But in fact, the flames from Betty's burning body actually rise and set fire after she's been destroyed. They then set fire to the chair. This isn't the chair burning and catching fire to the person, as the television documentaries of their experts have often tried to allege. This is actually the burning person setting fire to the chair. They burn so quickly that the chair, in this case, hasn't even had time to catch fire. It's really quite extraordinary. So the police would be faced in a case like this with finding the charred remains of the chair lying on top of the person. And doubtless would have said that this person had tried to hide from the fire by burrowing under the chair. Um, but that was the remains of Betty. And again, she entirely was reduced to ash in a very short period of time. This is the carpet. Again, no damage at all around, but completely destroyed there. So we thought it was now time properly to do a timed model. And so once again, this will be edited down. But because we have a digital clock in the background, you can easily see how the elapsed time is. And within five minutes, Clara, Clara's abdomen, though not her legs, Clara's abdomen has been entirely destroyed. She is sitting in an elegant breakfast room, marred only by the fact that there is a large scientific digital clock nailed <laughs> to her radiator. And as you can see, she, you can imagine that she might have dropped a cigarette and is immediately so shocked at the fact. Remember that we've got hot gases here all around the head. The lungs will be instantly seared. Uh, any inhalation would cause the most excruciating pain. And that kind of painful trauma is just what causes vagus inhibition and would cause a person to lose their consciousness extremely quickly. But again, you can see the elapsed time, just, less, just half a minute and she is already burning fearsomely. One and a quarter minute, and she's beginning to be destroyed. And do remember that this isn't a question of scaling up. If a one kilogram body burns in 20 minutes, a 70 kilogram body is not going to burn in 20 times 70 minutes. It's not arithmetic. Um, I mean, if you set fire, for example, to a spoonful of gasoline, it'll burn in a couple of seconds. You do a bucket full of gasoline, it'll burn in a few more seconds, but not in ratio of the two volumes. So my contention is that a person, although they would take longer to burn than these models, won't take that much longer. And again, you can see the fat is running out of the body, and because of the radiant heat of the conflagration above, it is, um, and, and at five minutes, at five minutes, uh, she is mostly destroyed, apart from the extremities, and she falls to the floor. Now, I'm not suggesting for a moment that these are quantifiable experiments. What I am saying is that entire documentaries have been made about rubbish, that scientists have stood there and explained how they know the answer when they don't. And all I'm saying to you today, as you look at this pitiful sight, just after 11 minutes of her dropping her cigarette into her lap, this poor, ketotic woman becomes just a pile of glowing ash. And what I have shown you today is at least one metabolically sound model which does fit the facts. None of the others has ever fitted the facts. And at least for your satisfaction, this one does. And as you can see, within a quarter of an hour or so, the fire has almost gone out. They said in the human cases that within 
half an hour, three quarters of an hour, the fire had gone out, and you're left with an oily mass of, of smoking charred cinders. This is exactly what it is that the eyewitnesses said they have found, and within 16 minutes, the person has been entirely destroyed. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I put forward to you the view that not necessarily that this even causes it. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't presume, as these idiot scientists have done, to try and triumphantly say to you, this must be the answer. But what I am saying is that this is the only time any scientist has ever shown something that could explain it. And I believe that after years of being told we had answers when we didn't, that I've been able to give you a viable answer this evening to the terrible demise of people who die of spontaneous human combustion. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.